A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit Ga and guys today we're going to talk about two CSS properties the zoom property and the opacity. Let's get started. Let me click on the create new HTML button and guys uh, let me bring in a few pictures from my local site folder. So I'll say insert, I'll say image and in my local site folder there's a folder called images. Let me go inside that and let me start uh, getting in the pictures guys I'll skip the alternate text in the long description for all the pictures although um, you can do that too let me get the pictures one by one Opera and in the end let me get Safari as well okay guys uh, so now we have uh, five pictures of uh, the most uh, popular browsers modern browsers use these days and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the property zoom and the property opacity to all these five pictures let's see how they actually work so the first thing that I'll do is I'll select all the pictures and uh, then I would want to confine all the pictures inside a div so I'll say insert layout objects div tag and guys by default uh, the option that gets selected is wrap around selection which is fine I can either give it a class or an ID. Let me give it an ID and let me call the div div1. I'll click on the new CSS uh, rule button and say OK and say OK once again uh, for the simple reason that I don't want to uh, specify any property right now and say OK once again. OK. Next, guys, uh, what I'll do is I'll click on any of these uh, five pictures. Let me click on the first one which is Internet Explorer. Then let me click on uh, the new CSS rule button. Guys, I'm going to create a compound rule and Dreamweaver automatically sets the contextual selector to a compound and um, it also understands very intelligently that I want to apply the rule to uh, any image which is sitting inside uh, Dev1 which is fine. So what I'll do is, uh, <coughs> I'll say a colon out here and then hover. Guys, uh, a colon hover is a pseudo, pseudo class uh, selector. Alright, so basically the rule that I'm about to create will apply the zoom and the opacity in the hover state only. And then I'll say OK. guys as far as the zoom and the opacity properties are concerned I'm not able to do so through this dialog box so I'm going to uh, hand code it which means that I'm uh, straight away going to say OK and then uh, I'll have to do so in the code area guys so let me locate the specific rule that I wish to work upon which is in line number 9 a pound sign dev1 image hover All right. Let me hit enter out here and let's say a zoom and a colon and let's say 125 percent. Guys, the zoom CSS property does not work uh, with all the browsers, all right? And we'll soon see that. We'll, we'll check the compatibility, we'll check the result in each and every browser as well and I'm sure uh, most of you watching this tutorial were not aware that a zoom property actually existed anyways uh, now that I've added the, the zoom property let me also add uh, the opacity now guys uh, opacity CSS property will work across all the browsers um, but as far as most more modern browsers that is but as far as IE is concerned it will work in IE 9 plus and we'll see how we can actually make it work in uh, earlier versions of IE let me set the opacity to a 0.5 alright 
guys let me go on testing the results in each and every browser one by one now guys I'm using the latest version of all the browsers including IE 9 so uh, we'll see what is the workaround when it comes to earlier versions of IE let me first test it in Google Chrome let, after saving the changes so let me call this file uh, zoom and uh, opacity let me hit on the save button guys as I hover over each of these pictures you should notice that uh, the zoom is working uh, all right as well as the transparency in Google Chrome let me test the other one the other browser let me try uh, Firefox this time guys as you can notice uh, the zoom property does not work in Firefox which is uh, correct Firefox does not accept the zoom property in case you need to have something like a zoom out there you can try changing the width and the height of the pictures guys instead and uh, let me try Internet Explorer yes as I said IE9 plus will accept uh, the opacity property let me try Opera again just like uh, Firefox it does not accept the zoom property and uh, how about uh, Safari right so Safari gives us a thumbs up so guys uh, one thing we have understood quite clearly that as far as uh, the zoom property is concerned out of the five browsers that we tested it upon the most modern browsers in the latest versions only three of them uh, do give it a thumbs up uh, rest to give it a thumbs down and as I said the workaround is to work with the, the width and the height uh, I'm not going to show it uh, to you I'm sure you can do that I'm going to skip that part okay now I was coming to how we can actually make the opacity work in uh, earlier versions of IE as I said the opacity CSS property will not work with the IE 6, 7, 8, 5, 6, 7, 8 so there's a workaround for that let me show, you, show it to you what I'm going to do is let me click on this rule the compound rule div1 image hover alright and uh, head to the extensions category I'm sure guys you have probably never ever ventured into this area okay uh, most of you haven't I'm sure and then we'll uh, choose the filters drop down and choose the first one which is the alpha filter alright and then what I'll do is making sure that my cursor is sitting at the extreme right I'll uh, hit the backspace button and go on erasing uh, the text as much as the point where I reach opacity is equal to here guys I'll write 50 percent okay which is equivalent to opacity 0.5 and then I'm gonna say okay and guys it's also uh, pretty important that this filter alpha that I've applied should go above the opacity CSS property this is very very important guys okay so I've changed the order in which the opacity and the filter appear now guys if I were to test it in earlier uh, versions of uh, IE 6 uh, sorry earlier versions of Internet Explorer it will work uh, there as well alright so guys this was a very short uh, tutorial on uh, how to work with the, the zoom and uh, the opacity uh, CSS properties I hope you uh, enjoyed it and it appended to your knowledge you have a good day guys I'll see you very soon with yet another dreamweaver tutorial or it could be flash with the action script 3 bye bye peace